So we're here today. Uh, we got finally some things to talk about, some things to react to. Uh, let's talk about Conquest because I know that's a big topic that we've been talking about for the past year. And finally, some other content creators have finally started to talk about it. So let's uh, let's see what people have to say, man. Okay, let's take a watch. Welcome to the Q&A for May 2024. This is coming out on time this month. Thank God. Actually, we're going to be this, kicking man. off with the first question from Okay. Now we're getting to now we're getting to the good question. If they ever add something like deep Boken, like layer 3 we check it out with your friends. No. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And they say Let's if see what they he ever says. add to deep Boken something like layer 3, will you check it out with your friends? Really funny seeing you on layer 2 with the bone keeper. I'm so it's just kind of hard to get myself to boot it up and well start Play. playing. As hey man, that's a lot of people along, to be fair. Really that's a lot of people. Too many friends that are active deep Woken players, and the few friends that I do have are total hyper sweats that would just carry me through the entirety of layer hyper two. Sweats. And I just don't think that would be very interesting for a video, which is why I haven't done that. Mm. I know a lot of people have been asking if I'm going to come back when Deep Woken adds conquest. Yeah. I will be perfectly honest that I still have no idea what that even is. It is. So will I be coming back for it? I, I don't know. Maybe when I figure out what the hell it is that everyone's so excited about, but... Yeah, uh, okay. Pretty fair for someone who, I guess, hasn't really... Yeah, for those who are on and off, it's, it is kind of hard to tell uh, when you hear the word Conquest. So with someone like Layer 2, immediately, it's... Immediately, you can be like, oh, Layer 2, okay, they're adding a second one. Like, there's Layer 1, there's Layer 2, and we didn't have that before. But Conquest is like, what the fuck is that? Um... Just, yeah, it just doesn't bring, like, the hype that everything else would. Hell, like I said, this is why I said that uh, anything that's a new Luminant or, like, has already existed but is a continuation of it, it's just, like, it's much easier to push. Um, even World Events, like, World Events, like, it's very easy to tell off rip. Now we get on to Revolver Ags video, which is a more dedicated video, which I'm going to be giving a more dedicated response to. Now, if you guys don't live under a rock, or if you're just in the loop, you would know that Conquest is never coming out. Oh, that's a joke. That's a joke. This video has nothing to do with Conquest in the actuality. Now, what we do know is that the owners of Deep Woken, Ragusa, and Archmage are actually working on another game. And a couple of months ago, we spoke about this. Mm -hmm. The game is Cursed Gears. It's based off Jujutsu Infinite. Mm -hmm. What the heck? It's based off of Jujutsu Kaisen, mm. which explains Cursed Gears. Now, we don't know if Cursed Gears is the reason why Conquest is taking so long, but we do know Conquest is getting worked on. Agamatsu has been keeping us updated on that. Yeah, um, is Cursed Gear the reason? Mm, it's more like, I, if I had to put it like this, right? I would say that when it comes to, when it comes to Conquest, right? I feel like there's like a lot of different things you can point to simultaneously that kind of showcases why Conquest kind of took a while to pull up. And if you want to say that uh, Curse Gear attributed to that, I mean, I don't, I don't think that's entirely unfair to say, right? It's a, it's another it's another game project. Obviously, it's going to be taking time away from Deep Open, um to work on, right? And so it's just not surprising. It's you know what I mean? It's like it's it's, it's not shocking. To see that like you know that we're gonna curse gear um which is really just rag to be honest i mean it's, it's rag mainly game arc mage always been on that conquest grind um and even then rag is still working on he been working on conquest as well but like i said any side game is going to take away time from uh developing deep Oaken. we've seen it before with k1 dex and Fino. so like i said that, uh, i don't think it's it's not i don't think it's like the sole reason why conquest is like this but so we do know that it's, I, I, I would and say that basically I'm trying to say it, it would be foolish to say that it had no impact with UI going on right now it does look like it's inspired from Deep Woken's UI bro what what okay first off bro what is inspired by Deep Woken's UI there's literally two bars at the top of the screen that don't look like anything from Deep Woken maybe you could argue the stamina bar for the yellow bar but yeah that, that that's not really I don't really see any inspiration. <laughs> it's completely different, I'd say. My main thing that I'll say really about Curse Gear, first off, this stuff is pretty old. You know what I mean? And I don't think, oh yeah, this Infernosa clip. Yeah, all this stuff is pretty old. And I don't think it really illustrates 
why a why people enjoy playing the game and b kind of how the game is and what people play it for um I, i've seen a lot of people pulling up and being like oh like this game looks trash like i don't see why people would enjoy it i think if you ask pretty much a lot of people who play besides a few right especially the more competitive side of people who've played both deep and um curse gear they'll say that they say that there's like an equal like you can get very good at the curse gear combat um which is which do i agree with that because i know i know rag was saying that or was that the fake user i forgot if that was the i forgot if it was the fake user or not yeah, but yeah I, I do think that pretty high skill ceiling in terms of how good you can be and this these leaks in no way pretty much show why people enjoy curse gear or why i enjoy curse gear i'm not going to say the reason i enjoy curse gear because that would be a leak of the game um the only thing I can say is that it just really makes me feel like I'm in Jujutsu Kaisen, that's it. And I, I like the rivalries as well. Like I said, it makes it feel like an anime, bro. Like, deadass, I have, like, I have one, I have, it's actually such a, it's like, it made it, it made me feel like such a, like, I'm in anime so much that I actually have, I have a manga panel that I paid for that was drawn of me and my rival, bro. But this is not, I shouldn't be, you know, hyping you guys so much. Like, oh my god, yes, Agamatsu, now I want to play Curse Gear. Because, in my opinion, peak Deboken is still better. I'm just, that's all I gotta say. I like Curse Gear, but there's, first off, there's a lot of people that don't. And second off, there's a lot of things about Curse Gear to not like. You know what I'm saying, right? Those are the peak parts of Curse Gear. There's a lot of things I dislike. Peak Deboken is just simply better, okay? I, if I, bro, I'm so serious, chat. If I could stream Curse Gear, I would have been. I, I think I asked. I think I've literally asked before. Or was that the fake abuser? I forgot. Bro, there's so much. See, this, this, fuck that fake, fuck that fake nigga, by the way. Because there's so much shit now I have to like be like, was that the fake abuser or not? Because we talked about so much shit. Fake rag. I'm not gonna lie. He had, even though he was a weirdo, he had his moments. I can't lie. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to go click on these other videos, man, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.